as of the posting of this video, I may not quite be completely finished with the second Doctor's uh, run on Doctor Who, but I am finally able to answer the fourth Doctor's question. Would I like a Jelly Baby? And the answer is, yes, I would! Presenting Taverner's Jelly Babies. Great British Sweets established 1904. No artificial colors and flavors. Finally, I get to try the Doctor's signature sweet. And yes, that's a picture of the fourth Doctor. Um, uh, Tom Baker, which I will be getting to eventually. This is me cutting open the bag. Never run with scissors. Now let's get a whiff of this. Ooh, smells very, very fruity. And looks even fruitier. Oh. Okay, these things are rather large. The poor lighting in here doesn't exactly show, but what I've got currently is purple, and yeah, to be honest, it looks more like a penguin, or a, for lack of a better term, a pygmy. And if I can get the camera to focus, focus. Well, anyway, uh, it's got like a little face, and it's very tall. But let's get to the taste. Hmm. Okay. Um. The one I just tasted is a berry flavor. Hmm sort of grapey. And this one, a yellow one, is the same kind that Baker threatened a uh, paradoxically technologically advanced primitive with, in one episode, a deadly jelly baby. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Lemon flavor. Hmm. It's very faint lemony, but it's very sweet. So it's more sweet than sour. Then we have this uh, sort of orangey one. I'm guessing it's orange flavor. But I could be wrong. Nope, that's definitely orange. Hmm. Then we have this beige one. Not sure what flavor that is. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, the first one I tried was definitely grape. This one's definitely berry. This one's probably lime flavor or possibly even watermelon green. Hmm. Definitely lime flavor. And this one I think is white. Not sure if it's the same color as before, as before or the same flavor, but let's try it. Hmm. Hmm. That is pineapple. So, <clears throat> there you have it. Finally, Doctor Who's Jelly Babies. And they are honestly a little expensive. I got these at Publix for around three bucks. And the bag is only 
5.8 ounces. And while that price is a bit steep, the flavors are very, very satisfyingly intense. These are actually a little bit better than the uh, gummy bears I'm used to having. And <clears throat> while the texture might come off as a little bit waxy, the flavor more than makes up for it. The Brits really have something here. I wish we had as uh, good a gummy candy as um, these Jelly Babies, because Haribo uh, gummy bears are a little too tough, and the off-brands are a little too bland, but these, they're almost worth the price. Like I said, they're at Publix in the British candy section, well, British food section. That would be the international aisle. And if you're curious about these, or you want to pick up a Mars bar, Go right ahead. I highly, highly recommend you try these at least once in your life, even if you're not a Doctor Who fan. This is Mr. J signing out and reminding you, bow ties, fezzes, and extremely long scarves are cool, and always try to reverse the polarity of the neutron flow. Alonzi!